All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to take this old VHS, I don't even know what it is, maybe a 13 inch TV, and we're gonna upgrade the RV with this new Samsung 24 inch. I've got the 24 inch television here, I've got a six foot monster cable, and I've also got a Samsung Blu-ray DVD player. Now, some of you guys may be like, well, why didn't you go ahead and get a, uh, a smart TV? Well, practically got this 24-inch uh, Samsung for nothing. So this Blu-ray disc player has Netflix, Pandora, YouTube, Hulu, Vudu, yep, TV, never even heard of that. But this was only 35 bucks at Walmart. So if you're ever out camping and you have no cable or no Wi-Fi, uh, we'll be able to play Blu-rays or uh, regular DVDs from, you know, a red box or whatnot. Um, this is the TV stand. I was going to think about putting the flat screen up here, but I didn't want it to interfere with the refrigerator or any of the storage. So I'm going to, it looks like were, the previous owner had something mounted. There's two holes right there. Um, measured it out and it looks like a 24 inch TV will fit. I'm gonna have a telescoping TV stand so the TV can come out and you can see it from the bed, I hope. So where I originally wanted to mount the TV is just not gonna happen. The measurements didn't quite work out right. So I'm taking a scrap piece of plywood and I'm cutting it to size to go over where the old existing tube TV was and I'm going to mount my mounting bracket off of that panel. And I'll show you guys what that looks like here in just a minute. So sadly enough for me, I think the old WineGuard antenna was an analog antenna. I replaced the TV and wired everything up appropriately but I could not pick up any over the air uh, over the air digital channels so I ordered a new wine guard digital antenna and now we've got to put that on all right <clears throat> so I'm up here on the roof in July in Florida and what I'm trying to do is you can see my putty over there and my putty knife and I'm just trying to scrape off the uh, the sealant up here around the uh, the old antenna and it is this should be a direct replacement it's a wine guard this is the, a wine guard 2003 antenna and I'm going to be replacing it with a new digital wine guard antenna so I can get uh, over the air digital channels but anyways so you just want to you just want to scrape off scrape off the old sealant and um, expose your bolts here that way you can uh, get this removed but I will I'm gonna put the camera down here because it is just unbearably hot up here but anyways I will touch back in just a little bit all right so I got some of the sealant off went ahead and took all the screws out so this is what it should well this is what it'll look like when you get rid of your antenna and uh, your coaxial input there um, so I'm just going to finish removing the rest of the sealant and start putting everything back together but that's what it's going to look like when you remove it. Uh, my roof looks a little rough compared to what it was originally so that'll probably be on the, uh, on the to-do list here later on. But um, anyways I'm going to put this antenna back together with the new antenna and see how we get some uh, digital channels. So this is what it should look like when you're all done. Um, I got to order one more tube of lap sealant. I used an entire tube of self-leveling lap sealant on here. But uh, not too bad for my first time, I don't think. So here's the old one. And here's the new one. Um, I'm going to go down and make sure everything works. But everything's plugged in. And I believe it's all sealed up. I'm going to get one more tube just to just to make sure, put a little bit more on there. And I think I'll feel a little better about it. It's probably not going to leak as it is, but I just want to make sure. So that is how to replace a Wingard Digital HD antenna. Yeah, so there's definitely a difference here in the size of uh, of the old one and the new one. The old one is on the right, new one is on the left. Um, also, the uh, the bar that comes down to actually be able to swivel the antenna 
is much, much longer than the old one. Um, so anyways, I'm gonna have to cut that off and I'm just gonna reuse the old hardware, but it's definitely worth noting, definitely worth noting that. So luckily I still have the old hardware. Um, I'm just gonna have to cut this bar to the height that it was before and I'm just going to reuse the old hardware so no big deal I just thought it was important to note for anybody else so one other thing to note I had to replace this wind guard 12 volt powered um, I guess selector um, anyways before this was actually installed if you can see there it was installed up in this little cubby hole where the uh, CRT or tube television was once at. Um, I'm going to, I'm actually going to install it out here so that it's easier to get to this on off button now that I'm going to be covering up this panel uh, with the flat screen. All right, so we're just about done here with, uh, with this project. Um, so as you can see up here, I had to trim the extension that came through the seat, the roof. Um, I used the old hardware in place. I don't know why it was so much longer on the new wine guard versus the, uh, my 2003 wine guard, but I was able to use the old hardware and that worked out just fine. Um, had some good rain here in the past uh, week or so and no drips. So that's all good. Um, the panel I created here, or the panel I made here actually turned out okay. I'm not a woodworker by any stretch of the imagination. <clears throat> but I've got my Samsung Wi-Fi Blu-ray player in that cubby. And it leaves just enough room from when I'm watching TV from the bed. It extends nicely. Um, so coming around this side, I ended up relocating the, uh, the switch here from cable to antenna. It just didn't make any sense to have it trapped inside of that cubby to have to reach inside there every time to turn it on and off. So I can come out here and it looks, uh, it's better, better placed out here in my opinion. Plus I can see if the light is on or off. Uh, before I exit the RV to make sure everything's turned off. Um, cable management is not that great, but uh, I can I can work on that and I may end up taking I may end up taking and drilling an access hole for those two cables I've got run behind that panel um, somewhere underneath this uh, wine guard switch up here. So this is how the TV looks in its collapsed state. I still have access to the Samsung Blu-ray player underneath it. It extends the door with no problem. And come around here to the side, and this is about how flush it goes with the cables I have on it. But it's tucked out of the way and will not come down and uh, doesn't look half bad either. So this is the result. Um, I think it turned out okay. But uh, this is just to give you guys some ideas on what you can do um, to bring an older RV into the 21st century. As always, the products used in this video will be in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.